Yeah, Deshaun again, back at it again, my man Meditate, what's up man? Yeah, I want you to tell me how you feel about the young generation. Oh, wow, the young generation, man, I mean, you got some that's really doing positive things, you know what I'm saying? I tip my hat off to them for that, you know what I mean? You got some of them that's really, really making a difference, and with me being from the generation that I'm from, it's good to see young young cats out there just go, going all out and just grinding and just doing what they got to do to survive. And for me, that really makes me feel good because that's exactly what I'm doing. Because I got a face of a youngin' anyway, you know what I'm saying? Even with the hair, facial hair off my face, you know? Yeah, you know. It, it just goes to show that um, you got something that's really doing it out there that's really taking it to the next level and want to provide for those after them, the generation after them, you know what I'm saying? And that's good, you know what I mean? And then you got some that want to be assholes, that want to feel that, nah, man, I ain't trying to work no 9 to 5. I don't need them. I ain't trying to work no minimum wage. I don't even want to work in no McDonald's and none of this and none of that shit. But I look at it like this, though. If you don't want to work, your ass ain't going to survive long. Because if you eat off of other people, though, man, yo, that's not how you're going to make it in this world, man, because the white man wants us to feed off other people. They don't want to see us strive. They don't want to see us succeed. They don't want to see us do what they do, what they claim to do, because they want to claim everything any motherfucking way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my advice to these youngins that say they're doing what they do, doing what they got to do, you're not. You're not. Because if you are, you wouldn't have to worry about police looking over your motherfucking shoulder, want to lock your ass up for something you claim you didn't do. You know what I mean? Because in every jail cell across the United States, who they have up in the jail cells? Niggas. Black people. Okay? So don't get that shit twisted. All right. You know what I mean? See, they emulate what they see off these music videos, you know what I mean? They want to be gangsters just like them niggas they see on videos, you know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I look at music videos, too, so I ain't going to sit here and be hypocritical, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to emulate what they do. Because, see, what they doing is art. Sometimes life imitates art. And sometimes when you look at a music video, we sometimes get the misconception of how that music video is conceived and shit like that, right? Sometimes it's reality, sometimes it's not reality. Sometimes it's fact, sometimes it's fiction. Sometimes we get that shit confused, you know what I mean? And half of this young generation anyway, they already fucking confused because they feel they got the answers to every motherfucking thing, right? And don't really know shit, right? Because they don't want to take time out and listen to the older generation because they have been at that road that they're on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love being around the older generation like I do, because I want to absorb all that knowledge while I can while I'm still young. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm 35 going on 36 doesn't mean that I've seen a lot of shit. That's bullshit. I ain't seen nothing yet. I ain't been through shit yet. Right. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm trying to put in these youngins' heads, but, you know, sometimes some of these youngins, they just can't be helped. They can't be reached. They're unreachable, you know? It's a lost cause. Remind me of that song from Lauryn Hill. There's some lost ones, man. Yeah. You know? But what's your take on, on Trayvon Martin, man? My take on it is fucked up. He lost his life for nothing. And the way I see it, you know what I'm saying, justice still ain't being done about that shit. And everybody keeps talking about it as being a racial thing. Race ain't got shit to do with it. That man killed that boy just to kill that boy. And he didn't do anything that was suspicious or anything else like that there. That man had a bottle of iced tea and a bag of Skittles. What the fuck is so suspicious about that? You got motherfuckers out here, you know what I'm saying, going around killing little kids in, in, in Sandy Hook, killing all those babies, you know what I'm saying? Their parents ain't getting justice for that. You got a motherfucker shooting up in movie theater in Colorado. You know what I'm saying? The parents of the ones that of the ones that got shot up in there, they ain't getting justice for that. The Boston Marathon shit, they ain't getting justice for that. So on that right there, 
Race ain't got shit to do with it. It's part of it, but it's not all of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know what I mean, we really got to look at ourselves in the mirror. You know? And like I've been telling my father all the time, I be telling my father all the time, I be reading, I be looking at the news, I be reading news headlines and shit. See, most of these motherfuckers don't understand. I'm a very smart individual, but I don't let it show. I don't tell motherfuckers I'm smart. I carry it by keeping my mouth shut and observing and watching everything around me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a close bust with death going on damn near seven years ago. You understand what I'm saying? I was going up to a liquor store, you know what I mean, to get my check cash. And then the next thing I know, these two little youngins must have seen the cash, the check being cash. And this dumb motherfucker want to put my shit in a brown paper bag. And they saw it through the glass door, because there was a glass door that was sitting behind and sitting over on the side, because they had two doors, the front door and the back door. They seen it through the back door. Right. And then the next thing I know, as soon as I was going to leave out the store, one of the youngest demanded me to give, give up the money. And I'm like, what money are you talking about, homie? He's like, he's like, give up the money. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking long and hard, man, because I saw my life flash before my motherfucking eyes. And then when I realized, I was like, you know what, Tyson? Do what you feel is best for you, homie. And God was watching over me. And he was like, here, take the money. I just gave it to the motherfucker. Because these youngers ain't going to work for shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and one thing that I've learned that some of these young black dudes don't have no strong male role models out here. And to me, I don't blame them for doing the shit that they do. I blame the parents. I mean, you made the baby, you know what I'm saying? You need to take full responsibility of what you need to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, do I feel sorry for some of these youngers? No. I mean, you emulate the shit that you see, and once you get older, you see it as being cool. I ain't from that life. Yeah, I grew up in the hood, but I'm not a street nigga. You know, but I know street niggas. Right. So, that doesn't make me soft. That doesn't make me any of that shit, because I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. But what I'm saying is, you got to watch everything around you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why society is fucked up as it is, because we don't stick together no more. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the day, you know what I'm saying? If we see an old lady and she couldn't make it across the street, we will help her help her, or help the old man cross the street. We don't need to do that no more. Yeah, it is sad. Yeah, it's sad, man, and it don't make sense. You know? 